You looking for cash buyers? Watch this video. Hey, what is going on everyone? Devin Knopp here with another video providing massive value for everybody that's watching, whether you're subscribed or you're not subscribed. Speaking of which, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. I would love for you to subscribe as every day I'm posting videos for wholesalers and real estate investors specifically so that way you can get further in your business. So if you would like to subscribe, you should go grab that. And so in today's video, I'm gonna be talking with you guys about how to get cash buyers and build up your list and my recommendations and all that good stuff. And so um, it's gonna be very specific. We're gonna be diving into my computer so that way you can guys have some specific examples that you can take action on immediately. And so that way you guys aren't just wasting your time uh, just taking some concepts into your head. I want you to, after you watch this video, go do this stuff. And so um, without any further ado, let's jump into my computer. All right, so finding cash buyers. First of all, I recommend you have at least 150 before you talk to motivated sellers. All right, I had to think there for a second. Um, this is just my recommendation. Obviously, you don't have to listen to me. You can just market the deal after you get on a contract, but this is my recommendation. It's gonna be a lot easier. Trust me on that, but like I said, whatever you, whatever you wanna do. And so, these are some of the methods that I have found to get build up your cash buyers list, and a lot of them are, um, you can automate pretty easily, and, so that way you're consistently building up your cash buyers list, um, which the person who has the biggest cash buyers list in the side of this business is going to win. Um, that way, like basically you're gonna be able to make more money on your deals as you just send them out and you get the highest and greatest offer on every single deal, as well as um, you're able to make money off of other people's deals if you're going that way. And if they can't find a buyer, you just send it through your list and chances are that you'll pick up a buyer on that property and make money off of it as well. And so it is very, very effective and crucial that you build up your own cash buyers list. And so first of all, um, the first way that I'm gonna be talking with you guys and I'm gonna show you guys is Craigslist for rent. And so basically you go on, uh, here, let me, I don't wanna open a new tab, but uh, so what we'll do is we just go on to craigslist.com and we'll go to We'll go to Boise specifically because that's that's where I'm at and it'll work either way. And so what you're gonna do is you go here, apartments and housing. And boom, okay, so you got all these properties that are, un, that are for rent right now that are posted. And so what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on one of these. I'm gonna click on one I know there's a phone number on. Um, some of them have email, whatever. If they don't have a phone number, just email them asking if they're considering selling their property. Um, why we wanna do that is because some of these landlords are actually motivated to sell their property and you can get it at a discount. And so the other option is for if you call them up and they say, no, they don't wanna sell the property, what you can do is just ask if they're interested in adding more properties to their portfolio. Um, as you are coming across deeply discounted properties all the time and if they'd be interested, just add them to your cash buyers list and so, yeah, you just click here for the show contact info, whatnot. I'm gonna shoot me a cap show to see. No, I didn't. All right, yeah, so just you'll just find the phone number on here. Um, you, you can have the address in front of you if you want. Ask if this property's for sale. Um, but anyways, yeah, it's like property management. And so if you're not talking to the owner of the property and you end up with a property management company, still call them. Don't, don't put it off or anything like that. Just call them up. And if you think about it, property management companies know a lot of investors because they're holding, they're working with all these properties for them. And so what I recommend is you call up the property management company and ask them if they know if the owner's considering selling their property and if they're like, no, or whatever. Um, what I would do is ask them if they would like more business as you find deeply discounted properties all the time and you can hook up your investors with more properties for rentals. And what if they don't want more business, then whatever. Um, they're, they're obviously structuring their business wrong. And so, but anyways, that's a good way to start getting going. And then there's this thing called IFTTT. If this, then that, um, what you do is it'll basically just 
shoot these people a text for you or a voicemail or send you a notification whenever someone posts a property and it'll automate all that stuff for you and it will just consistently keep getting you cash buyers. And so that's very effective in building up your buyers list, especially from the start. All right, so now the next one is in Facebook groups. So I have Facebook here open. Um, and so what I would do here, I already kind of have it typed in. So I'll just type in real estate investors of like whatever state you're in, this one works. Um, real estate investors of Idaho. I've already joined the group. You'll have to request to join. Maybe you have to answer a couple of questions. But what you're gonna want to do is just write up a post, maybe saying something along the lines of, um, I would like, hello, I come across deeply discounted properties all of the time. And then maybe something along the lines of like comment or PM if you guys are interested or whatnot, whatever. We don't need to post that. Anyways, but yeah, that's a very easy way to just start getting investors immediately. And um, what you can do as well to automate that a little bit more so you don't have to reply to people's DMs and whatnot is you can go into MailChimp and you can create a form to where they can join your subscription list or so that way your mailing campaigns, you don't have to register everybody at all the time and add them to your list. It'll do it automatically. And then from there, you can just send them your properties in MailChimp and you can do that for free and you don't have to do all that work. And so that's what I would recommend is just go to MailChimp.com and create a little form. And there's, there's tons of videos out there on how to do that whatnot. Uh, but yeah, you just create a form and then once people put in their info, it puts it all in there for you You can get like the phone number the email what type of properties they like what's their name? Um, and all what type of food they like I'm just messing with you guys um, But yeah, that's a very easy way to automate that side of things and so this one is very crucial It is networking. So what I would do is if you're if you're getting into real estate wholesaling I would tell everyone that you're getting into real real estate and you're coming across deeply discounted properties all the time. And so what that's gonna do is it's gonna really set you up with uh, a lot of personal connections and just meet up with people, go out, meet up, meet up with them at coffee or talk with them on the phone, try to figure out what type of properties they like. It's very easy. Um, talk to realtors as well. Um, try to find the ones that are investor friendly. Um, as a lot of realtors know a cash buyer or whatnot, and then also you can go to events and meetups um, like they have the RIA meeting, which stands for Real Estate Investor Association meetings. Go to those and check them out. Also, uh, just go to meetup.com. Here, I'll type it down for you. Uh, meetup.com and see if there's any uh, real estate investor meetings going on in your area. And then get everybody's business cards right down if they're like an agent, a cash buyer or whatnot. All this is pretty simple. And then so also I just thought, oh, let me jump down to these secret these methods down here and also just add another one off the top of my head, but I'll just cover these first. So first of all, you can purchase a list of realtors in your area. I just found this out like two months ago, which is still mind blowing to me, is you can buy these lists online that um, have all of these, uh, have all these realtors in your area. And like the list that I was able to look up, it had like 5,000 realtors in the area of Idaho. And it gives you your, their email address, their phone numbers, everything. If you think about it, like like I wrote down here, is like every realtor is a buyer, or they know of investors, cash buyers, flippers, landlords, all that type of stuff. And so, if you have a list of everybody's email contact info, then you're basically going to have this massive list of just people that are ready to flip properties. And so, also um, this secret secret method. And so, what I'm going to be talking about is the Craigslist ghost ads. Um, just warning be very careful with these just understand that it's it's hard to uh well people may or may not like you advertising a property that was never actually um a deal that you had under contract and so just understand maybe i would talk to an attorney about this one i'm not giving you legal advice on this or anything i'm not saying go do this just this is a way to get cash buyers very quickly um, it'll get you like 50 in just like three days real quick and you don't have to do that much work But just understand the risks involved in this And so what you can do is you just create like a fake listing of a property on Craigslist <coughs> and just write 
like, hey, I need to sell this property quickly. Um, looking for a cat, looking to sell all cash. Um, need to move immediately. Maybe put that in the title, all caps, put exclamation points, be like three bedroom, two bathroom. And then inside the description, just be like, needs a little bit of work, maybe needs new carpet, needs some paint and everything. Um, need to move, well, need to get rid of the property quickly. And then fill out all the details, whatnot, whatnot put your phone number on there, and your phone will blow up. Um, and so just be, be aware, uh, it, it's gonna work very efficiently, um, but just be aware, like I said. And what happens when people call you, just tell them, hey, um, the property I already got rid of it. Someone already picked it up from me. I just haven't taken down the listing yet. Um, but I have a couple other properties I'm looking to sell pretty quickly, pretty soon. Would you be interested in um, me notifying you on those? And what that's going to do is um, you just get the contact info and ask what type of properties they like, whatnot, and there you go. It'll build up your buyers list very quickly. So I actually, on the fly, just thought of another way to get cash buyers, and so this is Google. So what I would do is, here, we'll just go to google.com. Okay, and so what I would do is I would buy houses Boise. And what you can do is you can just click on these ads, you can do these PPC ones, or you can just go to these ads and just call them up like call them up and uh see if they are interested in huh um i would just call them up and see if they are interested in adding oh into buying more properties these look like wholesalers personally it's not a big deal you can always add wholesalers to your list and so here i buy houses boise i just call them up and just let them know i come across deeply discounted properties all the time would they be interested that's another quick way to get like 20 onto your list just keep going through google and you'll build it up that way I hope you guys enjoyed what I had for you today inside of my computer. Um, I would, those are coming to, kind of some of the methods that I've utilized to build up my cash buyers list to where it's at today. Um, very effective. Obviously, the, the person who has the most cash buyers in this game is going to win. So please understand that. You want to have a massive and active cash buyers list, um, especially before you do any deals. But it's not that big of a priority. Like I, I'm kind of going back on myself saying this, but... At the same time, it is very, very, very effective. I would recommend getting your cash buyers first as it helps you talk, learn how to talk to people and it makes talking to motivated sellers that much easier. So please understand that. Like always, if you guys enjoyed today's content, please hit that subscribe button down below. And if you guys made it to this far in the video, if you guys are interested in, uh, well, if you guys ever have any questions, Hit me up on Instagram or Facebook and I'll answer them immediately. Specific questions though. Now, if you have one of those questions like, hey Devin, can you uh, teach me how to wholesale all uh, um, so that way I can start doing deals and whatnot. If you have those type of questions, still hit me up. But I just want you guys to understand that when you have those types of questions and you're not putting out the, the time to actually go out there and try to learn the stuff yourself, um, people in general are going to either charge you money or, well, yeah, basically they're going to be charging you money because it takes a lot of time to just teach somebody real estate wholesaling and chances are they, they may not answer that question. I, um, and so I got something I'm working on for you guys that are interested in that side of things, just learning how to wholesale houses and just do them quickly. Uh, and so just hit me up and I'll keep you posted on when it'll be out. It should be out at the end of this week. Um, I've been working on it these last few days, just been hustling and I got something very special in the works for you guys. Um, I'm not going to be charging much or anything like that, but just understand that if you guys have those types of questions and you want to do, do deals quickly, there usually is going to be a dollar amount charged or whatnot. Um, and so I would love to be able to just help out everybody, like um, just walk them through the process and whatnot, but it is a large investment of my time and so just hit me up if you're one of those people that is interested in getting into wholesaling and i will uh, let you guys know when my thing is all set up and ready to go it's gonna be just for you guys it's gonna be very special um and especially if you're getting in at the beginning i'm definitely gonna be giving you guys huge discounts and whatnot compared to how it's gonna originally be structured but anyways 
Um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Like always, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button down below. And if you guys enjoyed today's video, please hit that subscribe, or well, hit the thumbs up button. Man, what am I saying? Hit the thumbs up button, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace.